Welcome to Hurry Up Pinball, a show where I teach you how to work on your pinball machine. Today I will show you how to install Pinwolfer's Spike 2 Knockout Kit. So grab your tools and let's get going. Here you can see the items that come in the Knockout Kit. The kit includes the new Knockout Amp, a wiring harness, power board, an audio board, zip ties, and extra speaker connectors, two back box speakers with mounting rings and hardware, a cabinet speaker with mounting ring and hardware, along with some anti-rattle tape. For detailed installation instructions, go to pinwolfer.com, create an account, select downloads, and then pick your system from the list. To begin this installation, move the pinball machine so you have access to both sides of the cabinet. Now open the coin door, remove the lockdown bar, and remove the playfield glass. If you have cabinet protectors, install them at this time and then unplug the pinball machine. Next, partially raise the playfield and rest it on the end of the support brackets. Then grab the back box keys from inside the coin door. Unlock and lower the speaker panel and then remove the trans light. During this installation, we will be raising the playfield, so remove the pinballs from the machine at this time. Now grab the Pinwolfer wiring harness, and starting with the 6-pin Molex connector seen here, feed the wiring harness into the hole in the bottom right of the back box. You want to leave about 3 feet of excess cable to make the connections in the back box. Here is a picture of the bottom right hole in the back box with the wiring harness in place. Now feed the excess wiring harness cable over the speaker panel lock bar and then raise the speaker panel and lock it into position. Next, grab a small towel or blanket and place it on the back box and then fully raise the playfield. Now open the coin door and then grab the other end of the wiring harness and feed it down the right side of the pinball cabinet and out the coin door. There should be about 2 to 3 feet of excess cable hanging out the coin door at this time. Here is how it should look with the cable fed down the right side of the pinball cabinet. If you purchased the add-on amp mounting bracket, now is time to install it using the included hardware. If you do not want to screw into the pinball cabinet, you can also mount the amp housing bracket using very high bond double-sided sticky tape. Pinwolfer cautions against mounting the amp to the side of the pinball cabinet. Pinwolfer also recommends removing the amp prior to transporting the pinball machine if you do not mount the amp bracket with the screws. With the amp bracket in place, place the knockout amp in the mounting bracket with the knobs facing the left side of the cabinet and the wires facing the right side. Here is how it should look once properly installed. At this time, go ahead and lower the playfield and rest it on the end of the support brackets. Remove the towel from the back box and lower the speaker panel. Now it is time to install the power board on connections C and 7 as seen here. Unplug the connection on CN7. Make sure to gently pull on the connector and not the wires. Now grab the Pinwolfer power board and plug it into CN7. This board is keyed, so be sure to install it as seen here. With the board installed, grab the connector you removed from CN7 and plug it into the power board, again, making sure the keyed pins match up. It is a good idea to hold the power board while plugging in the connector so as not to stress the pins. Here is how it should look with the power board and connector installed. Next, take the 2-pin connector from the Pinwolfer wiring harness and plug it into the 2-pin connection point on the Pinwolfer power board. Here is how it should look with the 2-pin connector installed. Now we will be installing the audio board cable on connection CN5 as seen here. Grab the 7-pin cable and plug it into CN5. Be sure to line up the slot on the connector with the slot on CN5. The connector is not keyed so be sure to install it using the slots on the connectors as a guide. Here is how it should look once properly installed. Now grab the audio board from the Pinwolfer kit, remove the backing from the double-sided tape, 
and mount it to the back of the pinball cabinet as seen here. You want to make sure to leave enough room to plug in the 3.5mm cables. After mounting the board, grab the other end of the cable you plugged in to CN5 and plug it into the audio board. Again, make sure to install the audio cable using the slots on the connector and the board. Use the existing wire looms to secure the cable. Here are two pictures showing how it should look when properly installed. Next, grab the 3.5mm cable from the pinwolfer harness and plug it into the line out jack on the audio board. Again, use the existing wire looms to route the 3.5mm cable. Here is how it should look with the 3.5mm cable plugged in. Now it is time to install the back box speakers and mounting rings. Unplug the Molex connector for the left speaker and then use your nut driver to remove the lock nuts and washers as well as the spacer between the speaker and the panel. We will be reusing some of this hardware so keep it close by. Grab the 3D printed speaker ring from the Pinwolfer kit and install it on the two threaded posts as seen here. The speaker ring is offset and should be mounted flush against the side of the monitor. With the ring properly installed, use the previously removed hardware and install one washer and one lock nut on each post and then tighten down the speaker ring using your nut driver. Here is how the speaker ring should look when properly installed. Now grab the new speaker and place it on the 3D printed ring as seen here. Be careful and line up the holes and posts to avoid puncturing the speaker. After installing the speaker, use the Pinwolfer supplied hardware and install one washer and one lock nut on each post and then use your nut driver to tighten it down. The positive and negative terminals should be facing the bottom of the speaker panel. Now grab the Pinwolfer harness cable labeled left and install the blue wire on the positive terminal and the black wire on the negative terminal. You can pull the cables apart to create some additional slack for mounting the connectors. Be gentle when sliding on the connectors so as not to put too much pressure on the terminals. Here is how it should look with the wires properly connected. Now repeat this process for the right speaker and make sure to mount the speaker ring with the 3D printed bracket flush against the monitor. Don't forget to unplug the Molex connector for the right speaker before removing it. Now grab the pinwheel for wiring harness cable labeled right and plug the black wire into the negative terminal and the blue wire into the positive terminal. Again, create some slack in the wires if you need to by separating them. Here is how the right speaker should look with the wires properly connected. With the back box speakers connected, use the existing wire looms and included zip ties to tidy up the cables in the back box. Now it is time to install the speaker cabinet. Reinstall the trans light, raise and lock the speaker panel, place a towel or small blanket on the back box, then fully raise the playfield. Start by unplugging the Molex connector for the cabinet speaker, then grab your nut driver and remove the four nuts holding on the cabinet speaker, and then remove the speaker. Pinwolfer recommends removing the speaker grill from the machine as it has the potential to rattle with the new system installed. If you need to, use an X-Acto knife to cut a small slit in the speaker grill to remove it. Now grab the speaker ring and install it using the supplied hardware by placing one washer and one lock nut on each post. Use your nut driver to tighten down the speaker ring. Now grab the new cabinet speaker and install it on the speaker ring. Take your time and line up the posts with the speaker holes. Be careful not to puncture the speaker with the posts. The connection terminal should face the back right side of the pinball cabinet. With the speaker installed, add one washer and one lock nut to each post and tighten them down using your nut driver. Here is how it should look with the cabinet speaker mounted to the ring. Now connect the red and black wires from the pinwolfer harness to the cabinet speaker. The red wire goes to the positive terminal and the black wire goes to the negative terminal. Here is how the cabinet speaker should look with the wires properly connected. 
Now grab the end of the Pinwolfer wiring harness that you fed out the coin door and plug in the 6-pin Molex connector to the amp connector. Plug in the power connector and the 3.5mm cable. Use the included Velcro strap to tidy up the wires. Here is how the amp should look with the wires properly connected. With the amp connected, close the coin door, completely lower the playfield, install the pinballs, remove the towel from the back box, remove the cabinet protectors, and reinstall the playfield glass and lockdown bar. If you plan on installing the anti-rattle tape, install it at this time. With the playfield glass installed, remove the amp from the mounting bracket and place it on the playfield glass. Then plug in the pinball machine. We will be booting up the game with the coin door open, so pull out the white pin on the inside of the coin door. Before powering on the game, make sure all the knobs on the knockout amp are in the 12 o'clock position. At this time, go ahead and turn on the pinball machine. As a starting point, Pinwolfer recommends setting the volume using the coin door buttons to 15. With the coin door volume set to 15, start a game and begin tweaking the amp knobs until you find your desired setting. When you find a setting you like, be sure to upload it to the Pinwolfer blog. Once you find a setting you like, push the coin door pin back in, then place the amp back in the mounting bracket and close the coin door. If you move the pinball machine, put it back into position at this time. Be sure to play a few test games to double check your work. This is Craig with Hurry Up Pinball and I wanted to say thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, show your support for Hurry Up Pinball and click the subscribe button. We can also be found on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram under Hurry Up Pinball.